How to Animate a Character in Express Animate Part 2 Animating a Character Puppet This is a very simple animation we are going to produce for a character that we prepared in the first part of this two-part video tutorial. But before we start animating, we need to prepare the puppet for animation. If you try rotating one of the character's body parts now, you'll see that it rotates around its center. And that's not what we want here. The point any object in Express Animate rotates around is called the anchor, with its two coordinates specified on the timeline panel defining his position on the canvas. Hold Ctrl key before selecting the anchor, a little white crosshair symbol on the canvas. For the head shape, Drag the anchor to the base of the neck. Now we could animate the character shaking his head. Move the anchor point for every single object in your composition to where a person's joints are supposed to be. Shoulders, elbows, hands, and legs. The puppet is now ready for animation. Let's start with animating his right shoulder. By selecting the shoulder right shape and changing its rotation parameter while holding control key and using a scroll wheel over it, we can animate the shoulder move for a few degrees around the shoulder joint. If you press on a little diamond icon for the corresponding parameter at any point on the timeline, a keyframe is created. So let's rotate the shoulder for 6 degrees at 15 seconds. Because the arm is parented to the shoulder, when the shoulder moves, the arm moves with it. Let's make a couple keyframes for the arm now and add a slight rotation to it. Now let's rotate the hand for a few degrees, creating another two keys on the timeline. Animate the other shoulder in a similar way. Create a key at frame 0. Then another key at the 10 second mark and rotate the shoulder. Now select his left arm. Create one key around 6 seconds. And another one around 18 seconds and rotate the arm for 100 degrees. Let's select his left hand and animate a little hand wave. Create a first keyframe at around the 14 second mark and then another one at 22 seconds and rotate the hand for about 30 degrees from its original position. Now, highlight both keyframes by holding the left mouse button and dragging your cursor over them. Copy them, Ctrl plus C, and paste, Ctrl plus V, several times at an equal distance from each other. This repeats the rotation over and over again, creating the hand wave animation. It's time to animate the businessman's face. Just a few blinks and brown movements can really make a character come to life. To animate his right eye, select the path parameter of the eye right object on the timeline and create a keyframe at the 5 second mark, another one at the 20 second mark, and the third one in the middle. With the middle keyframe selected, click on the eye right shape again to show the editable Bezier curve and drag the top curve control point all the way down. Adjust the curve handles to make a really thin line where the eye used to be. Now if you scroll the timeline, you'll see the eye is now animated closing and opening again, going back to its full shape. It's a good idea to create another keyframe around 8 second mark and adjust the curve a little at the top to imitate a real eyelid. Do the same at the 17 second mark. 
That little adjustment made the animation more smooth. Repeat the same process for his other eye. Create the start and the end keyframes. Drag the top curve point down at the middle keyframe. Add two more keys to smooth out the eyelid. Now, copy all five keyframes two more times on the timeline at an equal distance from each other. This will repeat the blinking animation. Do that for both eyes. We'll treat the iris shape in a similar way. The first keyframe is at the 6 second mark, the last one at around 17 seconds. Create a third key in the middle. Click on the shape and drag the top curve point down. Adjust the curve in between the keys to match the shape of the eye behind it. Repeat this process for the other iris shape. Now select all five keyframes, copy and paste them twice, just like you did for the eyes and at the same points on the timeline. Finally, repeat the process for the little white highlights in his eyes. Select one of the eyebrows. Make a keyframe for position at 10 seconds and another one at 22. Now create a third key between those two frames and move the eyebrow slightly higher. Use your mouse to drag the eyebrow object around the canvas or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Now copy and paste those three keys two more times on the timeline. Repeat this process for the second eyebrow. Finally, select the nose object and create three keyframes for its position parameter and move the nose to the side a bit on the middle frame. Copy the keyframes and paste them again further down the timeline. Congratulations! You finished animating your character. Now. Use the puppet you have created to add more animations or export the project as a video file in your preferred format. For more Express Animate tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.